Okay, uh, I'm getting ready now to fit the inner primary chain case. Um, first thing uh, to note is that there are three oil seals, well two oil seals and an o-ring uh, that go inside the casing. Okay, so on the inner side, the sort of back side of the casing, there, this is the uh, where the shaft, where the gear chain shaft goes in. And there's a small needle roller bearing there for the gear chain shaft, which I don't, I'm not changing because it's fine. And over here, this is where the clutch shaft comes out. And again, there's a small needle roller bearing, which again, I'm not changing because I think that's fine. But on the back, then there would be an oil seal, a small oil seal here. And that will go in with the uh, open side facing sort of inwards because the oil is going to be inside the primary chain case. And then there is the main oil seal on the back uh, where, where the clutch goes. And again, that will face inside because, of course, this side where, where the clutch is, is dry. You want to stop the oil getting in the clutch. And so that will go in face down as well. Uh, I think you can note that you know there's damage all over uh, all over here. Uh, something's happened there with the clutch, and it's taken that's sort of done that edge in. Then these these uh, certainly this one, and I think over here, some one of these, this one, they've been put in with two long screws, so uh, they're they're sort of coming out the back of the chain case into the clutch area. That's fine. Um, because there already were two screws that holes that come through anyway that's just something to bear in mind that I'll mention in a minute then um, in actually in the edge of the chain case you can see that there's a groove here okay and that goes around the oil pump and this is where the second oil pump oil seal goes uh, the o-ring seal goes goes in in that groove and then it sits around the edge of the oil pump I don't know if I can put it in one-handed but that's where it goes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put it in properly. Yeah, I'll put it in properly later on. Okay, but we need to fit those three oil seals to begin with. Uh, other things to notice. Yeah, we said about these two screws. So bear in mind that um, all this side is going to be full of oil and we don't want it going through into the clutch. So there is um, this top uh, screw here, bolt. That holds the it holds the gear change uh, sort of shaft in place that goes through to the clutch and so does this one on ours because someone's put i think to put too long a, a bolt in so when we uh, put those bolts up we want to make sure that the oil can't get down those uh, down the threads because it will work its way down the threads and go into the clutch which we don't want so bear that in mind the hole on this side i think is uh, uh is formed by uh, this uh, mounting bolt here or hole here and that's fine because I'll have the, the gasket around it so um, you know the oil shouldn't be able to get in uh, yeah it's had a you know it's had a hard life our, our engine again something's happened there uh, but you know it's all okay just about uh, what else to notice um, yeah so this is one of the two sort of engine oil breathers okay and so uh when the engine's running that uh that comes out here goes into the oil sort of the uh, oil breather engine breather system comes out here goes up and then goes along and comes out here and is sucked up into the carburetors that goes to the air filter so that's one of the um, engine breathers now for reasons again i'm not sure of there's a second very small engine breather. This hole here is another engine breather. And that comes out into this small area here. And this small area, that small area matches up with this area here where there's another hole. And that goes through and comes out here. And this is this spigot is, is, is hollow. It's got a hole and you can't see from here, but it's got a hole. And then there is a tube that goes from there up to the oil tank. So that is another breather. Now, why there's a small breather here that goes to the oil tank and a big breather here that goes to the uh, carburetors, I'm not sure. But obviously there's a reason. But just I'm just pointing that out so you know.
Uh, I think that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oil, the oil seals in. As I uh, as I say, these two are going to be facing that way because the oil is going to be on the other side of this. Then I'm going to put this in uh, for the oil pump, and then I'm going to be putting the well seal round. I'm just checking everything's nice and smooth. I will put the well seal round, well seal on the uh, obviously on the other side, and then we'll mount the uh, we'll put this. Uh, inner casing this is the inner primary chain case on uh on the engine note that i did have this polished i just had a top edge polished uh because that's the only bit you see so i just had i just had that little bit polished because otherwise if it's not polished it stands out a bit uh from the from the rest of the polishing okay i think that's everything to note for now i'll get on and start putting the various oil seals etc in yeah, before I uh, before we fit the inner chain case, there was one other thing I meant to mention, and that's uh, this hole here in the bottom of the clutch housing. So, so the clutch uh, fits in there, and it's dry. Now, when the bike's uh, running, sometimes you'll get an oil leak around here somewhere uh, on the ground, and you'll look up under the engine, and you'll see this little hole. You'll see this hole, mm. and then you might see oil coming out of here and you think oh crikey right uh, I've got an oil leak from here okay now obviously the clutch is dry there isn't any oil in there so oh yeah sorry <laughs> I had a heart attack for a minute I thought god I'm missing a bit of the chain case so this is where the starter motor goes <laughs> just had a bit just thinking oh my god it's, don't tell me it's broken that's where the starter motor ring gear goes um Anyway, <laughs> right back to this. So, if there is oil dripping out of this hole when the bike is going, it's because there is a problem that oil is leaking into the clutch. Obviously, because there shouldn't be any oil in here, <clears throat> so it's leaking out of there. That means oil's coming in. All right. So it's not leaking out of the clutch. It's not leaking out of there. That's where the oil's coming from. But the actual oil leak will almost certainly be this oil seal because that's fairly prone to failure. And um, so the oil seeps into there, runs down onto the clutch housing out through that little hole, okay? So if there is oil coming out of that little hole, that tends to suggest is either this seal has gone or there's another small seal that we'll see later that goes on the end of the clutch push rod. And it's either this seal or that small seal on the end of the clutch pull rod that has gone or, or possibly both okay we, that's quite a common leak point that's why i mentioned right just waiting for the uh well seal to go off a couple of things um before i put the cover on and this is a bit weird it's a bit difficult to get your head around but but this this bit here is dry there's no oil in it okay um that's why there's big holes in it okay um there's it's a bit difficult to get get your head around when i put the inner primary chain case on then there's oil in front of that chain case but not behind it apart from where it goes through into the engine here and where it goes through into the breathers but there's no oil behind the clutch and there's no oil in this middle bit oh and of course there's oil around the oil pump but those are the only places there, there, and there that the oil can like get through the primary chain case. So it's dry in here, and it's also dry in here. And what they've done is they made this groove here. Now I know I put well seal on, but I don't need it in that particular place. But never mind. They put that groove there to allow water and stuff that might have come down through here into this cavity to drain out. So a lot of people look on, you know, when, when the cover plate's on, you can just see that groove, you think, crikey, there's, there's, there's a hole, there's a hole. You know, you look under the engine, you'll see there's a little hole just there, you know, this groove. Is, you think, oh my God, what's that for? I, I, I must be leaking oil out of there. No, it is, that's why. It's because this is actually dry, it's empty, and that's a, like a little drain hole. And I know it's a bit hard to get your head around, but that's the way it is. The oil is actually in front of all this, in the primary chain case, and behind it, there's no oil apart from where it goes through 
into the engine. And the very last thing to note before I uh, before I put the uh, cover on is uh, just how close the oil pump is to the clutch. You know, what's that about an eighth of an inch, I think, uh, bit of casing you've got. But it doesn't actually, uh, surprisingly, it doesn't tend to leak from there. And I think that's one reason why they've got those two oil seals, those two O-rings, uh, because, you know, it's, it helps it... Uh, not not leak or because even though that's only really really uh, a thin uh, you know, thin casing that's the only that's the only seal between your pump and the clutch it, it it generally doesn't leak from there. Okay, we've got the uh, inner cover now. Uh, I haven't just by the by I've not bothered putting well seal all the way around the back of the clutch because of course uh, there's no no oil there so nothing to seal. No oil in the clutch. I've put the uh, I put these new. Uh, can you see them? Yeah. I put the new oil seals in and just put a little bit of oil. And oiled. Obviously, I've oiled the needle roller bearings as well. Oh, and I nearly, nearly, nearly forgot to put the damned uh, O-ring in. So I'll go and do that first. <laughs> that would it would have leaked without that. Okay, with the O-ring now actually in place in the uh, in the cover. I'm going to slip this on. Hey. There we go. Oh yeah, it's gone again. Just slip this on. <clears throat> Just slip this on. Right. I need to get it past that pesky oil pump. Now someone was saying, I think it was... Uh, Leo Louis that he normally fits the casing and then the oil pump which means which avoids any chance of damaging that o-ring as you put it on on over the oil pump it seems I've never had a problem with it I have to say but I can see the uh, You know, I can see the uh, idea, the reasoning behind uh, putting the, inserting the oil pump afterwards. So, but, uh, yeah, that's gone on fine. Okay, I'm just, uh, I've got the cover on, so I'm just doing up the mounting uh, screws. So, again, important to remember there are seven internal screws. One, two three four five six and the sneaky seventh underneath the oil pump uh, shaft uh, intermediate shaft then there are two bolts there's one internal bolt here and one external bolt here top corner and then two in this case i've got two allen um, phillips uh, crosshead screw now, these are crosshead screws because, if you think about it, as I was saying before, there's no oil behind here. So they don't have to be dead tight because behind there's the clutch and behind here is that void that we're talking about. Okay, so you can get Allen screws for here for the looks, but you don't have to and that's why they're not. So what I'm going to do now is do up these Allen screws and the uh, inner case should be on. And there we go. Primary uh, inner primary uh, casing now all fitted and uh, ready to fit the uh, well we'll fit the oil pump drive next uh, and then the uh, the primary chain the new primary chain conversion uh, that we've had done we'll talk about that later okay but uh, hmm, good casing on bit by bit engine is coming together and just to mention that if you want any more detailed information about what's on the videos, then there is the workshop manual that goes uh, alongside the videos and that covers restoring the whole bike, not just the engine. Uh, and that's available from all uh, good booksellers around the world. You can just put my name, uh, Chris Rook, into the search bar 
like Amazon search bar or wherever, and it uh, and it should come up.